Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Crisis Psychic Channel. We're going to talk about the second half of this full moon eclipse here on Wednesday the 27th. How it is affecting each and every one of us after the 72 hours flow from Monday. And give you a little bit more glimpse into this week and flowing for after this full moon using the cards to see what spirit has to say about the energy after this full moon has come into uh, her bloom in Libra and the eclipse aspect of it that will lead into the next eclipse, which will be on April the 8th, which be a full eclipse, okay, where the things will stand still. And we'll cross that bridge when we get there, all right? So welcome to the channel. I am pulling our tarot cards. I'm going to pull some... Uh, um, Oracle cards as well to clarify the energy of this full moon still part two that's part of us and that will help each and every one of us to launch us into 2024 astrological year. Now, uh, this full moon and eclipse is still highly effective and it's going to be taking us through, you know, the next, which is Scorpio, the next of flow of the, of the moon energy. But this is a reward. Reward yourself for coming through this first eclipse and leading us into 2024 astrologically. So it's a rip with possibilities and a lot of learning experiences will open up those doors for the full moon eclipse that happened on Monday. And it will also take time for us to see the total picture of what's to come. But if you have taken your time with the eclipse and set up your um, some important information for yourself with this eclipse, you can revisit it with going to the um, video that is up on the full moon. Check that out to see what you should do. You still got time. And also you may be bringing in some, some sudden awareness of lack in each and every one of our lives, providing us with golden opportunities to explore our emotional needs and the polarity in each and every one of us with Le with Libra looking at balance and then Aries, Sun and Aries looking at uh, authentic authenticity and launching you out in good balance. My suggestion is, is that discovering your own relationships and discovering your own knack of your intentions and where you should go moving into this 2024 you know, try to make sure if you can to, not if you can, but I suggest for you to take really good time to make sure that you don't get sidetracked with the explosive information that will be coming through starting off this astrological year, all right? With things being overly sensationalized, you know, to get you off track or that doesn't have anything to do with your own life and prioritizing your own life over anything that this society will try to topple over the focus of you moving into 2024 effectively, okay? So sometimes closing your eyes and closing your ears and detox and shut stuff off to stay focused, all right? So at this time, you know, work on clearing up past patterns. This energy will work through that has maybe been holding you back from fulfillment, okay? Keep in mind that the, the eclipse is about fulfillment and revelation will come up for you but only how that's going to happen if you're taking time for you you know with everything else that you have on your on your plate making sure that you are prioritizing and don't get distracted in the sensationalism of what they're going to bring and the shift of pluto moving into um aquarius and Jupiter being in Taurus till May, end of May 23rd, 2024. And then right now, as I'm speaking, Mercury is currently in his shadow phase of relationships. So this is all about jetting off for yourself with setting the proper direction for 2024 for your life and those that are connected with you. So let's shuffle some cards, see what Spirit has to say on this part two of the full moon and eclipse um, season and clearing up paths. So what do you have to say, Spirit, about the cards pulling 
for this strong emphasis in area of blacking out things that's unnecessarily for you and affirming, affirmative action that you need to take. All right, so this is the tarot. We have the high priestess. We have the six of swords. Love it. We have the six of swords and we've got the will of fortune in reverse. So we've got two cards facing forward and then we've got the will of fortune in reverse. All right. Before I get into that, make sure that you're burning your blue candle still for Libra, Libra full moon. And also if you spotlight a crystal, you can, I have brought up using um, Avertine, Avertine, okay? So you could do that. So we, the first card we have is the high priestess. It's looking within that, that's using your senses of what is first making common sense to you, but short-sightedness that may come in to make a quick direction for yourself, that's short-sightedness, and then you'll see a magical movement of intuition because the high priestess is effective in this full moon and she is resting in, in hindsight with the full moon to let you know to operate within your intuition and trust it because anything that would try to get you off track you want to make sure that you're sitting pretty with stability in your spiritual in your spiritual direction, kicking off this 2024 astrological year. And then we have the Six of Swords. We have the Six of Swords, okay? Now with the Six of Swords, it's all about being unvisible, being unvisible, but yet knowing what are the areas that are more airy and connected with your emotions so that that way, that way you're flying in the backdrop of matters and not being seen or moved in your emotions because you stabilized, okay? Now, when you see this card here, this is someone secretly moving in their life, even though there's some air and some emotions in it, but they're able to secretly move behind the scenes and not be seen with using their intuition and their uh, need of knowing that it's about them and not anybody else and utilizing their intuition. And then we have the will of fortune in reverse here. Now on the last reading last week, go back to that video for full moon and eclipse, okay? You will see that it was this way, all right? but it's coming in this way in reverse because they're recalibrating recalib some scenarios in your life. They're recalibrating some scenarios in your life to make sure that you can revisit what happened, but focus on, you may be focusing on old problems that like giving it a new approach. And also this is in reference to looking at um, Mercury and retrograde to recalibrate yourself because he's a big, big help in recalibration for us, all right? And then we also have another six, which is in reverse, which before we had this come up before, if you go back to the other video for spring equinox, we mentioned this six of cups, okay? And it, it also was in reverse because why? It's gonna be this energy of balance is going to be going into re-looking at last year's summer of 2023, but looking at where revelation is coming through for relationships that has been challenged, broken, or strengthened at this time, or discovering your emotional charge and dramatic everything. And sometimes things during that time felt bigger and larger than life, but right now, with your epiphany, you'll be more focused on the current relationship of exchange, okay? And this relationship is a true firm relationship. It's not a falsehood. You know, relationships is all about balance and work with the Libra energy. So, you know, when you're dealing with other people, it comes with some challenges. You know, it's challenging within yourself, but it's also challenging to deal with someone else and how they perceive or move about things. 
but that's where your intuition will come into play and not give up and not give up so easily on relationships okay so and we're we're still in the energy of about uh community that we were sharing a few years ago in 2020 if you go back to the videos here in 2021 we were on our on our path of community and that's where we are to bringing in the new earth okay new earth um the a, a stage the um the golden age of Aquarius, okay? And so that's going to bring in new earth of harmony and happiness and balance, the true earth in which that's where we're going towards. So there's going to be some fluctuation with Pluto taking his ride through a lot of areas. But if you're sitting down and hunkering down into your spiritual balance and life, you will be able to ride this ride effectively because you're doing the individual work for yourself. Okay, now let's go to the moon cards, the, the um, oracle deck for that. Thank you, spirit guys. What do you have to say about this second part of the full moon and Libra for this week and that um, eclipse? Thank you, spirit guys. Spirit keeps bringing up to me as I'm shuffling and keep bringing up the equinox to me. And that's dealing with the spring equinox and dealing with he, us here on the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere, those that are dealing with the autumn equinox. And and also he's bringing up, spirit is bringing up in a masculine for, form formula of the equator, okay? And the equator is the, the balance on the axle of the earth of between the weather systems, okay? And so if we see some rumbling going on in the equator aspect, you know that that's what spirit is pinpointing, that we're going to see some eruption in that area to switch up the weather patterns for us. So if we have some, some strong weather patterns coming up, it will be coming from uh, the equinox energy and the equator energy. My suggestion is to be very observant with, with um, doing travels near the equator check your weather um get a forecast before you're trying to do um a um a trip uh, or a track to close to the equator okay so make sure you do your homework on that all right okay thank you spirit guys what do you have to say in the cards no i'll put that and stop all right all right Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. So showing the world the real you, we're talking about this, uh, the age of Aquarius and how to show who you are it goes back to the work that you've been doing over the years from 2020 to 2019 and now entering in a total rebirth from all of the planets from February and being what you have learned during the seasons of being more solitude and being to yourself. So you're going to show the world the real you and the real you is what you've learned and have adapted that's most effective for your life, not with the collective life or with everybody's agenda would try to push to you, but what have your spirituality, your own spiritual practice have taught you, okay? And then we have, um, have faith in your dreams. This is beautiful. Have faith in your dreams. We have a lot of lavender colors coming in, okay? That represents spring here in the Northern Hemisphere, but have faith in your dreams, in your dreams. Have faith that they will come true for you. Don't fumble your dreams, set your intentions and believe and trust. The eclipse have surged your dreams to come into uh, fruition for you, those that have set their intentions with the full moon, lady full moon, okay? And then last but not least, we have the answers you need are coming. The answers you need are coming, okay? So the answers you've been waiting for are coming. Um, some of you have been really diligent about how to prepare for, I'm hearing for retirement for some, I'm hearing for preparation in your spending and how to spend. And also the answer you need to come, need, need 
are coming is relational and relational is within yourself. This is a Gemini representation, your eyes closed and eyes wide open. Eyes closed is the inner child that is breathing through you, that is healing, and the eyes wide shut, a wide open, eyes wide shut, so to speak, with feeling the 3D energy of noticing and seeing what is going on in this realm and recognize what is true and what is not true, okay? Also see that this is within a representation, what I'm hearing from spirit, of the earth, okay? This card is talking about the moon, but I'm, spirit is telling me that this is the eyes wide open, the eyes wide shut of an earthling, which is us sitting within the earth and understanding the three, 3D formulation of what's real and what's not real. And you must be very vigilant to understand what is real and what's not real and don't fall for the distractions or the things that would take you off course to miss the doorway for your answers that you need are coming in the doorway of having faith in your dreams and not fumbling your dreams. Sometimes people can fumble, fumble their dreams because they get off track. They forget the direction that they're on because other people are getting in the way and you have allowed them to get in the way and forgot what your earthly journey is all about. A lot of pivots will be coming in. And then show the world what you're made of. Okay? Show the world world what you're made of. And that world is whatever that world that you create with inside of you and the 3D out of you, 4D in, 3D out, so that that way you can create the true harmony and balance in which the divine spirit guides and your ancestors want you to have for yourself. Okay? And taking that time, even though we've, we have been given a lot of lies and a lot of illusions that, that aren't real, they're not real because that's truly not your destination. You know, it's truly not your destination. So know your destination, know the extensions of part of you that those are supposed to go with you. Don't forget to contact me for your personalized reading sessions along with custom spiritual spell work, ritual work, and so much more. Join Patreon if you're a solidarity practitioner. That will help you prep and, and have some information that connects with your own private practice. Have a wonderful rest of the week, of this midweek of this energy, and I will see you later.